Hi, my name is Ben. Today we're going to look at how to strengthen lower back muscles. Why is this important? Well, as being the core part of the body, the back is something that is used all the time. So strengthening that core and strengthening the different muscles that are affected by that are vital to keeping that back in good health. Part of that is your abdomen. Those muscles are very important, along with different parts of your back, your hips, and all kinds of different things. So that's a little bit about what we're gonna touch base on today and different ways to strengthen that. The first one is a kneeling extension. Start by moving the knee on all fours with your hands beneath your shoulders and your knees directly below your hips. Tighten your core muscles and slowly lift your right arm and extend it toward forward. Slowly lift your leg and extend it straight back with your toes pointed down. Hold for 10 seconds and slowly lower to, a starting, to the starting position. Repeat this three times on each side. The next one is hip lifts. To strengthen your core muscles, lower back and buttocks, try the simple, ex the simple exercise. Lie on your back with your knees below your arms bent and flat on the floor on either side of you. Rotating your pelvis and tailbone down, tighten your core muscles and push your lower back into the floor. Holding this position, slowly lift your midsection off the ground using your legs, arms, and shoulders to balance. Hold in an elevated position for 10 seconds and slowly lower to start to the starting position, relaxing the core muscles. Repeat this five times. The next one is abdominal chair crunch. Having a strong core can help reduce lower back pain. Try this chair crunch to increase abdominal strength. Laying on your back with your legs resting comfortably on a chair, place your fingers gently behind your head and lift your chin to the ceiling. Tighten your abdo abdominal muscles and use these muscles to slowly elevate your shoulders off the floor. This will cause your stomach to crunch together and your core muscles to contract. Slowly lower back to, to the starting position. Repeat this 10 times. The next one is called plank hold. Plank holds are excellent way to strengthen your core muscles and lower back muscles. Laying face down on the floor, tuck your toes into the ground and place your elbows on the ground on either side of your body. Keep your stomach muscles tight and slowly raise your body up off the ground and hold an elevated position. You must keep your core muscles tight and the bottom lifted as your shoulders to avoid strain, strain on your lower back. Hold for 10 seconds and slowly lower to the starting position. The last thing that you can do to help strengthen the lower back muscles is some sort of electronic device. The reason that this is important is because it can loosen up the tightness or where you're hurting and some of the pain and enable you to do some of the exercises. Now, some may want some kind of massage chair or some kind of hand massager, or maybe you want to look at a TENS unit. A TENS unit is a great idea because you can focus specifically on the targeted areas of pain, and that will help relieve that by sending electrical impulses to those targeted areas and work them to open blood flow. Now, when this happens, this will enable you to do other exercises that maybe you normally could not do. Healthmate Forever is the leading seller of these types of units on Amazon, and we're gonna look at one of their products today. This particular one has four different pads that you can place on different areas of pain. It has an adjustable timer, it has long battery life. It's about 10 hours of use from every charge. It's rechargeable, and it's gonna be something that's really effective in relieving pain to help you do other exercises and stretching and whatnot that you may not normally be able to do. Now, as I discussed, these are just a few options that you can look at. These are just some different things that you can do to help strengthen some of that muscles that are really in a situation that you're really hurting. And you may want to check out other options as well. So if you'd like more information on the unit that I mentioned, check out the link below and thank you for watching.